This is a U.S.-China media brief produced by the UCLA Asian American Studies Center. The U.S.-China media brief features interviews with experts and other prominent individuals involved in studying and documenting the dynamic and ever-evolving relationship between the United States of America and the People's Republic of China. I'm Russell Leong, director of the U.S.-China media brief of the UCLA Asian American Studies Center. Our purpose is to provide a more balanced view of U.S.-China relations for the U.S. media through our media brief and website. Uh, Monterey Park became one of the first cities to become majority Asian, and today uh, uh, four out of the five seats are held by Chinese Americans. And um, Monterey Park is also uh, a city that was a testing ground. Uh, during the conflict, the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights actually sent an officer here to find out if there were civil rights violations. So it was really, really a contentious city, and there were two ways to go. And it could either continue the rancor or come together. And I'd like to conclude with this thought, that Monterey Park became the coalition city. And Monterey Park continues to be a coalition. And why do I say that? Uh, there are three examples of that. The first happened when I happened to be appointed to the Monterey Park Library Board through the help of Lily Chen. Remember Rudy Peralta, the mayor, appointed me to be one of the first Chinese Americans to sit on the library board. And we thought we were doing everything great and we had a lot of activities and we expanded our base of, of subscribers. Uh, you're supposed to give me the hook after five minutes. Okay, so I'm going to ask Emily Wu here, one of the volunteers, who's going to give us the hook after five minutes and then we'll introduce them. But I'm going to conclude with this talk. Um, when Monterey Park's, Monterey Park's library board was dissolved, it was dissolved ostensibly for a number of reasons, but one of them was because we had too many foreign language books. And so we dissolved. And the way in which we dealt with that was really an incredible coalition. Because at that time, uh, a number of people decided to sue. Because in the education code, you can't dissolve libraries because you disagree with their books. And so part of the coalition um, was that um, a Japanese American and a Jewish American person decided to be the plaintiffs to stand up for the rights to have foreign language books, most of many of which were Chinese American uh, Chinese books. And and then of course Stuart Quo through the Asian American Legal Center, remember that Stuart uh, brought in people for the American Way, which is a uh, um, primarily led by Anglo leadership, and they were able to finance the lawsuit that cost almost $500,000 before, on appeal, a California case, which stands to this day throughout the United States of America, stands for the proposition that you cannot dissolve a library board because you don't agree with their books, and that was the struggle that started here. Second example, something that came out of this city, Monterey Park, the All-American City, Harmony Month, one of the few cities United States of America, where once a month every year, the group, uh, the city comes together to celebrate its diversity and harmony. And finally, a city that um, uh, has produced a number of elected officials, uh, commissioners, every many people that come through here that walk through those doors, uh, go on and do bigger and other. I won't say better, but do bigger and other things. And I humbly include myself in that. Uh, being in a city of great diversity. Uh, gave me the momentum and the passion to go on and try to do other things that celebrates diversity and harmony. So that's my little piece on, on um, the coalition building. So at this time, I'm going to uh, tell you what the format is. We have three incredible speakers. Each one will speak for approximately five to six minutes. And then when they're all, and I will introduce each of them, and then at the end of that, we'll have some uh, question and answer back and forth with the audience. And then there's a part here that says, how can the community in UCLA Asian American Studies better address the issues raised by our speakers? Is that something that um, you want us to cover? No, we won't do that. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, okay, I'll talk to you privately about that. Okay, so our first speaker, is Stuart Quo, and I've known Stuart for quite a long time. Uh, I'm going to make the introductions very brief. Stuart Quo is president and executive director of the Asian Pacific American Legal Center. He's also co-editor of Untold Civil Rights Stories, Asian Americans 
speak out for justice. He's also a winner of one of the Genius Awards, and more importantly, happens to be my, one of my personal mentors, um, and really pointed me in the right direction many years ago when we both went to UCLA Law School, and he actually asked me what the heck was I doing in the library, and I said I was looking for truth, justice, and the American way, he said, you won't find that in the library, why don't you head for the streets and I'll show you what justice is all about. <laughs> he took me to Chinatown where um, I have not stopped ever since looking for the great, uh, seeking the great advice of this great man. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, the Honorable Stuart Cole. The preceding copyrighted program is a property of the University of California, Los Angeles. All rights reserved. It may be used freely for educational and not-for-profit activities. For other uses or to make an inquiry, please contact the Asian American Studies Center at UCLA.